All right, guys, so today we thought we'd give you a little bit more of an explanation on how to wire reverse cameras because we sell tons of these kits in Australia for guys to fit themselves. And a lot of the guys out there that aren't in the industry don't know how to wire them up or what everything is on the actual wiring diagram. So we're gonna explain it all for you guys out there that don't know or haven't done one before, and this will hopefully make your life a little bit easier. We're using these, these are the Soundskins Vision reverse cameras. They have a couple of different styles. We actually design and manufacture these ones. Now, it comes nicely packaged in this small little tube now, which is very, very convenient for shipping. And this is how the cameras actually come. And a lot of the cameras on the market will be the same as this, um, but this is specifically targeted for the cameras we supply, but the wiring for any vehicle is definitely gonna be the same. So, this is your main camera section. Obviously, you can see that by the camera itself, has an adjustable bracket, and they have stainless steel screws on them and a metal housing. So these are completely waterproof and dustproof rated, and they are very, very good for the Australian conditions or any conditions around the world. They're very durable. It's a, it's actual metal housing with um, powder coated. So this is the back portion of the camera. So now this is the section that's actually gonna mount at the back of your vehicle. Now we have a couple of different um, options with this. So. With this camera, this is unique to our cameras here. You do have these three loops at the back section. So this section here is about a meter long before it plugs into the extension cable. But I'm gonna talk about this quickly first. So these loops here actually have the ability to change things on the camera. Now they're gonna come with instructions in the box, which will look like this. And they'll actually say up in the top left-hand side here, what they actually do. So the green wire here will turn guidelines on and off because it has guidelines built into the camera. Uh, the white loop will actually flip the image vertically and the purple will flip it horizontally. Now, these are very, very important and we're gonna demonstrate these uh, later on for you because if you're mounting this on a vehicle at the rear of the car, you might wanna mount it this way. And if you, the image is projected onto the screen incorrectly, you could just cut the purple loop and that will flip it uh, oh, sorry, the white loop will flip the image horizontal, uh, vertically without actually moving the camera around, okay? And the same if you want to mount this on the front of the vehicle rather than the rear of the vehicle, you can actually cut the purple loop and it will flip it horizontally so the perspective of what you're looking at will be correct to the vehicle, whether you use this on the front or the back of the vehicle. So you don't have to mess around changing the brackets and things to get the image projected the right way. So that is one of the most important things about these loops. Um, we're gonna show you that and we'll demonstrate it on this screen later, just quickly. Now, I'll explain the wiring for you guys out there that have never done a reverse camera before. Now, this is your main extension cable. It is about seven meters long, and this is what's gonna run from the front to the rear of the vehicle. Now, we're just gonna undo this quickly. I'm gonna show you a couple of things about it. Oh, it's a bit bundled up here. All right, so this is just all extension cable here, and we're gonna talk about two sections on this camera uh, that are gonna be very, very important. All right, here we go. So this section here with the red and black cable with the fuse at the rear, this actually goes to the rear of the vehicle. Now, I'm gonna show you where that works. And so we'll get this out of the way for now, just so you can't see it. I'm gonna bundle this up a little bit here so we don't have a big mess going everywhere as well. So this is just some red and black cable. Now, this is the power and the earth for the reverse camera, okay? So there it is there. And this is the rear section. Now, very important here, you have this little section, which is a waterproof connector, which plugs into the camera itself. And these have little arrows on them. So I don't know if you can see that. If you zoom in just there, there's a little arrow. And on this unit, there is a little arrow as well. And they line up and they tell you how to push them in. And that will connect like that. And you actually feel it, it'll slot into place and there's two little arrows. And the reason being is the pin configuration the way they actually form the four pins is very important that they go in that way, okay? So that is a waterproof connector for at the rear and it makes a very slim line for running your cables. So that's very cool to start with. Now, what you have this red and black for is this is your power and earth for the camera to turn on. Now, traditionally when you wire reverse cameras, this will go to your reverse lights and you'll put the black will go to earth, which is also any piece of metal on the vehicle, on your chassis, and that will earth out. And you can actually do this on the lights as well if you find the earth on the lights. And the red will go to the reverse camera 
or the reverse light trigger on your rear reversing lights, okay? And that will, when you put it in reverse, tell the camera to turn on. Now, there is a fuse here as well. So on some vehicles, you don't actually need this. This is just to protect the camera, but there is a fuse for you guys out there. And then there's this little portion here where it comes out of. Now in line here, this is actually just a voltage reducer. You don't need to worry too much about it. But on this particular camera, it is a 24 and 12 volt reducer. So you can have 24 volt in or 12 volt in and it will reduce it down to the correct power for the camera. Okay, so that is very important you keep all that there. Now in Australia, if we have a kit for any Toyotas that we sell, this portion of it will actually not be on there and it has been omitted on purpose, okay? Because this brings us to the front of the camera. Now you're gonna run this RCA cable, which is part of this cable here, all the way to the front of the vehicle. And this is gonna plug into the back section of your stereo. So for example, we have a stereo here. So let's move this out of the way. We have a stereo here, this is a Kenwood stereo and you would plug it into something like this, where it says rear view camera, and you would plug the RCA in. And that is the signal, the video signal input. Now, this camera is NTSC and power auto switching. So it will detect which image should be displayed based on your stereo, because some stereos are all different, and it will display the correct image for you. So that is one of the cool things about it. Now, you'll notice this red wire up at your RCA section, or up the front of your vehicle. That is actually just an extension of the red from the rear. Now, how this is important, or why this is important, is this is a trigger to tell your screen to flick over. So if you picked up your reverse lights at the rear with this power, that power will run through all the way to the front of the stereo, and then off the stereo, you've got the wiring for the reverse camera, and that needs to wire together. So on the Kenwoods, it's purple and white, and you would wire that together like that, and that will get the reverse light trigger from the rear of your vehicle to tell the screen to flick over automatically in reverse, okay? Now, I'm gonna go a little bit further into this explanation quickly. If you have a vehicle like a Toyota Hilux or any other vehicle where the reverse trigger is up the front of the vehicle of your fuse box or behind the stereo, you could technically wire the rear view camera into your stereo, this red wire, hook it with your purple wire, like all your reverse trigger wire off the stereo, and those two together, you would hook to the reverse light trigger that is behind your stereo. Now that will feed all the way back to the camera and that will power the camera on and you don't need to do this rear section, okay? It will actually earth out on good quality stereos through the shielding of the RCA here. So if you have this plugged in, that outer shielding will be earthed. So you, that, you, that will earth the camera and that will power the camera if you hook it to a reverse light trigger behind the stereo, okay? Now I'm gonna give you a quick example of all this and we'll quickly show. So let's take this as a screen and pretend the screen here is our stereo. We're gonna plug the signal in, we've got our camera plugged in, and we're gonna take this power and earth, and we're gonna pretend these are our reverse lights, okay? All right, let's just plug this in quickly. Now, these cameras, well this is a power and earth just over here, so we're running it constantly just to be able to show you, but pretend this was your reverse lights and you're hooking it up to earth and the reverse light, and this will power up your camera. So there we go, that is the camera actually working. So you can see it there. Now this image looks a little bit grainy because it is so, so big, okay? It's a high resolution camera, so you can actually see that there. Now this is a 720 by 480p on this camera, so it will be good for most HD screens out there and it'll give a really clear picture on any of your seven inch and your six inch uh, stereo screens. So that's not gonna be an issue. It has really good night vision as well. Now, I'll quickly show you how these loops work. So you can actually see the guidelines here are built into the camera. Now, that's for vehicles that want to use a factory screen that don't have the guidelines. A lot of units like these Kenwoods out there will have guidelines optional that you can turn on and off in the stereo. But for you guys that are adding this camera to a factory stereo, these will give you the guidelines. Now, you can actually cut these loops and it will remove the guidelines. And if you wanted to put them back on, it is as simple as just stripping these wires again and joining them back together. So if you make a mistake, you can actually just fix it back up. You can just piece them together and they'll come back on. So very, very easy to do. Now the next example is these are the other loops for the vertical and the horizontal um, reflection of the image. So let's see here, the white is actually the vertical. So if we cut the white, 
oh sorry white is horizontal so there you go it actually flipped it horizontally and if you cut the purple it does vertical okay so then now that we've done that we can mount our camera this way okay so that's one of the cool things that we actually have on these cameras I think it's a very very versatile it's a very small camera so that is why we use those uh, they actually come with 12 months warranty as well but that is the basics of how to wire a reverse camera guys we're not going to show you on a vehicle because they all vary depending where you want to mount them so I'll just, this is a bit distracting having it the wrong way um, but they also come with this. This is a bit of double-sided tape and some screws. So you would actually put that on the back here before you mount it and it helps you mount it up. Now there is two styles of these cameras, but it is very important that you use the same style of cable that comes with the camera. So here's the second style that we actually sell from Soundskins. Now this is an OEM style look. So here you go here. This would give you a mount like this. Now, it would actually screw a hole that you drill a hole it will mount up and it will actually sit flush with your your vehicles back around the number plates generally mounted and that will give that oem or that factory style look so very very clean again waterproof rated dust proof rated and you still have all those loops there is a nut that would go on the back there to lock it in place and it'd be a no holes uh no visible hole install but you actually do drill a hole to mount it so that is the different styles of camera there um, I'm not sure if that one will actually work with this cable, but we can actually see this. So we, we make sure again, we flick this around, get our lines correct, and she will power up. Okay, so there you go. So that one again would mount like that and you get a nice image as well. So that is the basics of a reverse camera, guys. For those of you out there that are asking how to wire them up, I think a lot of people forget that uh, anyone doing this themselves hasn't had this explained to them. So there is some wiring instructions there that actually explain everything on here and we include them in the box, but that is a guide to the actual camera itself. We're gonna upload this onto our specs. You can actually scan this with your QR code and that'll give you some specs on the camera as well. But hope that explains a lot for you guys out there wanting to wire your own reverse camera and uh, best of luck doing that.